I'm a fourth grade teacher at Canal Winchester, Winchester Trail Elementary School. I teach mathematics. Formative assessment is a way for you as a teacher to gauge where your kids are at in the process of learning. It's not for a grade, it shouldn't be for a grade, but it's a way to make sure that they are understanding the standards and the purpose of the lesson that you're teaching that day. It's extremely important in my practice to make sure I have formative assessment involved in each lesson. And especially in mathematics where we are a foundational subject, we can't move on to the next step if we don't understand today's lesson. So not only is it important, but it pretty much guides the instruction the entire way through. I've pretty much found a way that I can combine certain types of formal assessment like my favorite no, the exit slip, even the pair and share uh, at times. And I do that through uh, an app called Clickers. So the kids will get cards that you do need to print out from the website. Each card has an individualized shape on it, which is, it looks like a block but it's got weird little cuts into it, making it individualized for each student. Each way that they hold the, the clicker card represents a different letter answer, A, B, C, or D. And what it is, it's a website that's tied into the app where you can develop multiple choice style questions uh, or true-false style questions for your class to use as a formative assessment. I use it in my math class to gauge where we are in the process, when we, especially when we just learned a new standard, a new topic. And what I do with it as well is I make sure that my incorrect answers are going to tell me something along the way as well. So I use my favorite no's as two to three of the, the incorrect answers. For example, let you know that this is not the correct answer, but it's one of my favorite no's that you could have on this. It shows that you understand the process of algebra. And then obviously the correct answer is on there as well. And it will tell me as a class are we getting it first off? And secondly, if we're not getting it, why aren't we getting it? I can tell that right away, as well as I get instant feedback and data collection from that. The best part about Flickers for me is I can make a quick adjustment on the fly in a lesson. If the majority of the class is not getting it, I can take a step backwards. It allows for those quick on the fly adjustments to a lesson that a teacher really needs to, to know when to slow down. Technology is always changing. You're never gonna fully know what you're getting into and you just gotta jump in the water and try it out. The best part about that is you normally have 25 kids who get the technology a little bit better than you do and they end up wanting to teach you how to do it and you've created a classroom rapport and, and you get control of your class that way as well because they're showing you how to do something and now you can use it. <laughs>